So officially available to developer beta testers today is a new software update for your Mac, which happens to be Mac OS 26 developer beta 9. And in this video, I'm simply going to be telling you all that you need to know. The update size on my MacBook Pro came in at exactly 14.34 gigs and I was updating from the previous beta 8. Alongside this update, Apple also released beta 9 versions of iOS 26, iPad OS 26, Mac OS 26, TV OS 26, Vision OS 26, Watch OS 26 and all these updates I do cover here on the channel. So if you want to stay up to date, definitely do hit like and subscribe so that you don't miss out. Now what I'm quickly going to do is update my Mac and then we're going to see some of the changes that I hear. Just like that, my Mac is now up to date. Even though I'm recording the video right now, I actually updated my Mac approximately three to four hours ago and I was just testing the update in the background. But let's look at some of the software changes that I hear if we go into the settings and I let everything index. I did like Geekbench scores. You can see it's pretty fast but not as fast as I would have hoped so some of the stuff right there you can see it does take a moment for read to load such as what you saw right there on the app icon settings has certain menus where it doesn't show up at all but if we go into the storage right there and go to all the way at the bottom you can see when it comes to Mac OS uh, Mac OS itself is taking 24.3 three two gigs and if we click on the info tab you can see the build number that we have right here so 25a 5351b so now this update ends with a b and in terms of stability it sort of took a step back by one and when it comes to apple intelligence you can see it's taking 12.69 gigs i don't know if this means that maybe soon we might get to see another beta 10 or something because it's very rare in Mac OS to actually get a beta 9. The last time we got a beta 9 was in 2022 with Mac OS Ventura. So it's not something that Apple does. So it's been three years since we got a beta 9, but now Apple saw it fit to release beta 9 with this update. And by the way, the public beta at the time I'm recording this video, if you're a public beta, um, the beta 6 for public beta testers isn't out yet so that's kind of unfortunate but hopefully apple releases that soon but the ipsw restore file is available for those that use it now in terms of what's new or what this update has to offer there really isn't much compared to the previous beta 8 that i was coming from so if you are curious about let's say for example in music how the liquid glass theme carries over and the translucency you can see it's a bit slow and you can see the time you know right there in the top corner it's been a couple of hours right now so it's not the best that way and i made sure you know to give it some time sometimes when you do search for certain applications or function it doesn't seem to like find it and even shortcuts not just the app but you can see you know when it comes to the liquid glass it's now no longer like liquid or translucent in that sense and it seems like that's the final product that we are going to be getting when it comes to this update so you can see it right there uh, beta one had the best translucency and then here you can sort of see how it's like frosted glass instead of like liquid glass but you can see there's still this bug here where at the end it actually like pops through so much and another thing i wanted to highlight was the control center so you can see how it sort of you know has the translucency i think it's much better than this section of the music but unfortunately this seems to be the final product that apple is going to be shipping soon this might actually be the last beta that we get before the release candidate version and maybe you are not experiencing the same issues that i'm experiencing right here with indexing or with app icons or with search and shortcuts but it feels like beta 8 in a sense was slightly much more better or stable when it came to performance but maybe that's because the os had most time to settle in the background but there are some bugs and issues that i should let you know of with this update that have been reported so for example when i was downloading this software update and it's not just beta 9 but with mac os 26 seems like 
there's a lot of issues when it comes to like uh, downloading and preparing so the software won't download all the way from zero to 100 percent consistently it does some jumps for example going from zero to 20 percent took most of the time and then from 30 percent to like 100 percent it was just like this pretty much like a flash and then the preparation also seems to be the same thing so i'm not sure why that's the case with this update another app that's experiencing an issue when it comes to this is spotlight search so spotlight search has this new update where it shows up like this and then when you move your cursor it shows you the other functions that you can do such as command one for applications two for files and three for shortcuts but then you can also use it to search for different uh, files or documents but it has an issue where it might crash or not even find the item that you're searching for if that item has been recently relocated in the recent folder so keep an eye out for that and at the same time if you use an external nvme there is an issue with this update where those nvmes tend to run hot so you might feel that you know after this update or even with beta 8 it was slightly there you might feel that hey it's slightly warmer than usual but it's a bug at this point in time for users in the eu apple is going to be releasing a new update to address the radio frequency levels for the iphone 12 so if you're in the eu you can expect to receive a pointed update to resolve that issue recently apple also sent an email to developers with some sort of cool liquid glass themed animation which which is much better than what we are seeing with this update let's talk about battery life and performance because i want to show you how it's been so far i had been using beta 8 for quite some time so if we go in there what happened to my data i'm pretty much used my device from thursday friday saturday sunday not so much but yeah and then today as well on um yesterday actually i used it and today you can see it's still updating but yeah for some reason there seems to be a bug where my battery life or screen usage isn't showing up properly let me know if this is a bug that you see but yeah now we just have one day to show our uh screen on time usage with the corresponding energy usage so on monday which was yesterday i had about let's say about five and a half hours and i used about 90 percent heavy use i was um, scripting i was editing i was doing a whole bunch of things but most of those values that you saw are values from beta 8 and now when it comes to uh performance you can see here just comparing beta 8 and beta 9 you can see beta uh, 8 right here single core i got a score of 2284 on beta 9 i got 2273 and then when it comes to uh multi-core i got a score on beta 8 of 10 five or three and then here i got a score of 10 six or four so you can see beta eight slightly higher when it comes to single core but then it's lower when it comes to multi-core so it's almost evens out and just just gives you a better view of you know what we have when it comes to this update and you can see the build number that we actually had on beta 8 it was 25 a 5349 alpha and then if you go down on beta beta 9 we have a bravo which you know is a step back in stability but other than that that's how this performance is function control center let's quickly talk about the apple event and what you can expect next from apple when it comes to the next couple of weeks because you know we are pretty we are like this close to the official release so uh right now you can see today is september 12th you can expect the next update for mac os which is most likely not going to be a beta 10 but more likely going to be a release candidate version so it's going to be released on september 9th and the reason i say that is typically when apple has an event remember next week on september 9th apple has the iphone 17 event on september 9th and then after that event concludes within couple minutes to an hour they release the release candidate versions of the softwares that are going to be coming out this year to the public soon so you can expect the rc and the, at, after the apple event right here and then if you are interested in the iphone um, 17s that are going to be released most of the times they go on pre-orders on the friday of the week the event is held so on september 12th you can expect to basically see the 
pre-orders window open and then once you pre-order your iPhones you you can pick them up or you have them delivered on the following Friday which will be September 19 and then when it comes to the official release of Mac OS since we ha would have had the release candidate version 1 on September 9th very rare to see Apple release RC2 so it's most likely that we'll see the official release of Mac OS 26 to the public on September 15th or 16th but that might change depending on how many release candidate versions Apple releases. But other than that, that's it for me when it comes to this update. Let me know what you think about this video. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.